I keep seeing these people painting five minute landscapes. So I thought I would show you my version of a five minute landscape. I am going to be using, uh, I have some watercolors over here to the side. I have a size six Princeton Heritage brush and a size 12 round brush. Um, I'm gonna start with the 12. I am going to also be using something absorbent like paper towels or um, what do I have here? It's just a cloth, something absorbent. I'm mixing up a bluish purple and go. So I'm gonna go back and forth. This is some old paper that I just had some garbage on it. I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth. I'm gonna touch in some periwinkle. And then using sky blue. It's been about 20 seconds, so, so far so good. Maybe I'll add in some darker colors. And I really want it to have that kind of back and forth like that quality. Let me add in a few more touches of color. Now, I could have left some spots for clouds, but what I'm going to do is just use my cloth to remove some white to give the impression that perhaps there are some clouds in the sky. Yes? Now the secret to doing, in my opinion, to doing a fast um, watercolor is leaving white spaces because without white spaces, I'm mixing up a combination of sort of like a blue, green, periwinkle, kind of a sage color, um, without spaces. And yes, my, my towel was kind of dirty. <sighs> so I see some little flecks. Um, wet watercolor will just run into each other. So yeah, you could make a cool like abstract kind of thing, but if that's not what you're going for, um, leave white spaces. So we'll do like a little, Kind of hillside back here. La, 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 la. And just don't let them touch. And then decide here, I'm gonna make kind of like a hill situation. And I know I'm gonna be leaving a white space. That's why I'm doing the shape that I want on the top here. Some hills. I don't know. I could darken that along the top. And now I'm going to use a slightly... So I'm using my new lamp and I see it's making a reflection, which I don't like. We'll work that out in the future, though. I've added some kind of spring green. And now I'm going to make a spring green hill. This is a really whimsical landscape, as you can see. It's not a detailed landscape. Not that you expected it to be with only five minutes. Trying to make some hill type shapes again, just repeating that. Uh, so yeah, the secret, if you're leaving little white gaps like this, you know, the watercolors won't run into each other. Yeah, that reflection really bothers me. What do you think I should do? I'm going to add some Naples yellow. You could add any yellow to that green color I already had mixed up. I don't know if that's yellow enough, but we'll go for it. So far, it's been almost four minutes, so I'm almost out of time. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I, If you've ever seen me do a cloud landscape, oh, look, those touch, but that's okay. Um, you know, I leave a lot of white lines when I do these whimsical landscapes and that makes it easy to work quickly because you don't have to wait for anything to dry. So yeah, that took about four minutes. It might be nice to do, maybe I'll take my skinny little brush, which I've lost track of. Time, time's a wasting. doesn't have a great tip on it. Maybe I'll just use my size 12 and I'm grabbing some black. No, is this dry enough? 
Is it? I don't know. I was thinking about doing a couple of little birds in the sky. If it, if it bleeds, I will regret it. There we go. All right, that one didn't bleed. How much time do I have? I have like 20 seconds. Okay, that, that all feels dry. I mean, watercolor does dry really fast, but. All right, I think I have time maybe for one more bird. Wait, I'm recording. Okay, ta-da!